Now second mode of nutrition is heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Now this mode of nutrition as I told before also that hetero means other and trophic means to synthesize. Means the organisms which are not having ability to synthesize their own food but take the food which is synthesized by other organisms. So here we are talking about heterotrophic mode of nutrition which are in the four ways. There are four ways, four heterotrophic mode of nutrition. One is Parasitic, parasitic mode of nutrition. Broadly, it is heterotrophic mode of nutrition, but these are the subtypes. So then we have insectivorous mode of nutrition. Then we have saprotrophic mode of nutrition. and symbiotic mode of nutrition. These are the four main modes of nutrition under heterotropic mode of nutrition which we are going to study in detail. Now all these are the mode of nutrition in which the organism derives nutrition from other but there are certain which can produce their own food also but along with the process of preparing their own food, they rely on the process of taking food from other organisms. Because maybe they are not getting all the food requirement or all the nutrient requirement by producing their own food. So to get the other nutrients, they are relying on other organisms. So we will be reading about all these four in detail. What are the parasitic mode of nutrition? What is the insectivorous mode of nutrition? Then we have saprotrophic mode of nutrition and symbiotic mode of nutrition. Parasitic mode of nutrition. This is a type of heterotrophic mode of nutrition. And one very common example of this is Custata. We also call it as Amarvel. In Hindi and it is also called as dot. So this is a plant which is having very tubular yellow creamish tubular structures which are uh, very easily spreading on the plants wherever it a small part of it will be uh, falling then ultimately it will grow completely and will cover the whole plant or tree with that tubular structure. Now that tubular structure is its stem and it has roots which are called as hostoria. Now these roots they pass or just enter in the plant on which these uh, cascata are climbing and they suck nutrients from there. So this cascata is the plant which is called as Parasite, parasite because it is taking nutrients from the other organism and harming that organism. And the organism from which this parasite takes nutrient is called as host. So, cascata is the parasite and wherever it climbs, whether it is a small plant or a tree, that is called as its host. So it is sucking all the nutrients from the host plant and depriving host of all its nutrients and ultimately that host may even die also. Means the plant will completely dry up and will die. So parasitic mode of nutrition is generally that mode of nutrition in which one organism is harming other organism and sometimes it harms to a level that it will ultimately lead to the death of the host plant. So parasitic mode of nutrition is a relationship between parasite and host. So in this case host is getting no benefit rather it is harmed whereas parasite is, get, parasite is getting all the benefit and this is the reason parasite is parasite is surviving on the host 
So this is the parasitic mode of nutrition very commonly seen on cascata. We have another example also of this parasitic plant and that is mistletoe. Mistletoe is other plant which is called as parasitic plant and it is having basically it is called as partial parasite. Partial means it is not completely parasite but somehow it carries out its process of photosynthesis also and it also depends upon some host to fulfill its requirement of some nutrients which it cannot get by the process of photosynthesis which it carries out. Parasitic organisms can also be categorized as plant parasites which I have just told you the parasites which are the plants those are called as plant parasites and examples are like cascata and mistletoe. Then we have animal parasites also. Animal parasites are the parasites which are working in the same manner but these are animals. Like bugs we have, we have lysis. Because these, these bugs or lysis, they live on the body of human beings or animals. They suck nutrients, means they, uh, we call them, they suck blood also. They take their nutrients from the living organisms and they ultimately grow by themselves. The organism on which they, these bugs live, that is the host, the, that is not getting any benefit. Rather it is becoming very uncomfortable and they sometimes get disease also. So they may lead to the harm to the host and in this case they may lead to the benefit of themselves. So these are the parasites and they harm the host. So these are the two types of parasitic organisms, plant parasites and animal parasites.